Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the OnePix Media application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing app where you can watch movies, live TV, as well as live sports from all over the world, including US, UK, Canada, Australia, and so on. The whole setup for this app is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader to your device. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. Do so, we just go to search on your device and in the search bar we start typing Downloader. And now, as you can see, the Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on Downloader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get loader, it is not over yet, we'll still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then we scroll down and go to my far TV. We open it, and from here we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some fire sticks, and especially on the new fire stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you are not able to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, we locate the loader and turn that option on. So, what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there's the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Hungary right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on your line, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go to the list of apps on your device. Let's open it, go to the loader, start up it, and on the left side menu here, make sure to click on home and not on browser. That's really important. So we click on home. And now here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 7916689. So once again, the code is 7916689. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then your code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. 
It truly helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, as you can see, the load has started. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then, after the file was downloaded, you have to click on install and wait until OnePix Media gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on your device type, of course. Should take only a couple of seconds. And it's over. Now, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because here we'll have an option to actually delete the installation files from your device. And that's really important, because by default, you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. So we'll click on Delete, and then Delete once again. And now, we'll actually have to download one more application, which is going to be a Woofy player, which is necessary for the OnePix Media to work. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and we'll need to enter one more code, which is going to be 1-9-5-6-5-8. So once again, 1-9-5-6-5-8. Just like previously, we click on Go and wait until the download starts for us. Now we are downloading the Boofy Player. Just like previously, click on Install and wait until the app is installed to your Fire Stick. Then we click on Done to also delete the installation files from your device. And now finally, we gotta go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick, which is right here. We open it. And there in the list of apps, you'll find OnePix Media, which we just downloaded, and of course, the player for the OnePix Media. Now, I would recommend you to click on the OnePix Media and to click on the Options button in your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, OnePix Media is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.